is one of my aunt's 70th birthday. Corn looking all good. Yo. I just want to say I love you. Happy birthday. And I just want to. We have to go to um, my aunt's party. She's having a birthday party. It's her 70, 70th. Dang, I can't say that right. 70th. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The number after 69, 70. She's turning 70 years old. Y'all, she is having a formal, no, not really formal. It's a casual party. So, you know me. Y'all already know. I already had something to wear. I keep something in my closet. So, I had a cute little brand new dress that I have never worn. They were like, wear all white. So, your girl got white. I got everything, y'all. I don't even have to think about what I'm gonna wear. Like, I just have stuff in my closet already. I'm always ready to go, but done, however, had nothing. So, I had to go out this morning, and I had to get him an outfit. Hopefully, he likes it. I mean, I don't really think he would care. That needs not a complainer. He's okay with everything, really. I just got him a plain white button-down shirt from Old Navy. And I found him, like, some khaki shorts from Old Navy. But I didn't think that was his type. I can't see Danny rocking, like, the, the preppy look. Because it really would look preppy after he put that outfit on. And I can't see him rocking that. So I went out and got him some long pants, too. Like some light khaki pants. They're like a top looking color. It's gonna be cute. And I can't wait to see like what it looks like after he puts it on. Cause hopefully I got like the right sizes. I didn't call him and ask him. I think I know his size, but I don't know. And then y'all, one thing about me, like I really don't like shopping for my husband's pants because even though the pants will say skinny, slim, all that. Sometimes when you get them back to him, they're not the appropriate fit for him. He'll say, you know, the legs are too big or whatever, so. Yeah, sometimes I go wrong in that area, but anyway. For some reason, y'all, while I was out today, everybody else was also out today. It's like everybody and their mama wanted to go shopping. Yeah, it just made it worse for me i was out too long i'm finally getting home and we gotta be there in like two hours y'all it's 2 41 right now and the party starts at five so hopefully we can get there in enough time y'all we gotta drive all the way to savannah so hopefully we can make it i ain't gonna look like this y'all y'all gonna see me in just a minute y'all i'm a little much better youtube dq gang what's poppin man welcome back to another video i go by don if you didn't know i got a beautiful wife in this corner and this is our youtube channel our gang y'all ain't for a treat today man we finna go on a little road trip you feel me oh uh, we gotta go to savannah georgia it's one of my aunt's 70th birthday told y'all like around about this time we have a lot of stuff going on man a lot of people were born in the spring in the summer so that means that all winter you know what folks were doing they were doing their thing, no cap. Anyway, gang, we finna get ready to take this road trip, man. We coming right back home tonight. So you guys, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm tempted to say pray for us, but I know this video is probably gonna drop either tomorrow, which is Sunday or Monday. So, I don't know. Anyway, pray for us, you know what I'm saying? Pray for our safe travels, you know what I'm saying? Or just go ahead and thank God that we had safe travels, you know what I'm saying? Like, the thing about it is, gang, we tend to basically 
take leaving home and coming back lightly when that is the biggest blessing of all you know what I'm saying? A lot of us look at it like it's automatic. Like, we look at it like we should be able to leave home and come back. So when we leave home and we make it back home, or when our loved ones leave home and make it back home, we don't really look at it like it's a big blessing, but it's a major blessing. You feel me? But anyway, uh, we ain't no corner to come down, man. She upstairs doing her makeup. Uh, we ain't gonna really get no drip check right now because we ain't really dripping, you know what I'm saying? Because it's an all-white party, which I couldn't find any white pants. Let me show y'all what I, I'm just gonna show y'all what I got on. Bam! As y'all see, this is my undershirt, gang. This is not the shirt that I'm gonna wear to the party. Corner went and got me some khaki pants, spring khaki pants. Y'all see your boy filling them out. You know what I'm saying? The workout's really doing that body good. Don't be jealous of getting the gym, you feel me? And bam! Got on the driver's shoes. You did. Look at the socks. Pay attention to detail. Stop playing with me. Yeah, man. I don't clean up much, but when I do, I do my thing. You did. But uh, let me show y'all my shirt. Show y'all the shirt I'm gonna wear, man. You feel me? Yeah, I know a lot of y'all like, done. you ain't there on the shirt? Nah, man. That ain't the drip. That ain't the drip drop. That is not the drip drop. You feel me? Bam, that's the drip drop. Just an all white button up, man. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too fancy. It ain't my birthday. I don't want to go in there looking better than my aunt. You did what I'm saying? I'm looking better than her children. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just take it light and slight, man. And shout out to Corner because she's been very busy today, gang. I went to work today. I had to go get the bag, get the coins. You know what I'm saying? Because don't nothing move unless the money move. That's a big fact. But my baby, she's been like, I don't know, bro. She's superwoman for real. She cooked me breakfast. So I had breakfast when I got home for lunch. And then she went out and she found me something to wear. Because I had nothing to wear. Nothing to wear. Like, y'all know me, man. If you've been watching the channel, I, I ain't no street cat. But I like to dress up like in my Jordans and in my hoodies and my joggers. You know what I'm saying? I like to wear like athletic gear everywhere. And if I don't have on athletic gear, I like to wear jeans and a plain white tee or a plain black tee. That's me. Now my mom like when I dress up, bro. And she always say, you don't never buy no clothes until it's time for you to wear something. That's because I don't really ever go anywhere that's important enough to basically put on clothes. So. I look to her, you know what I'm saying, to so, uh, basically dress me in. She do her thing, man, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, we gonna get on this road, man. Uh, probably I'll let y'all when we get on the road, let y'all see corner or whatever. Hopefully she drive there and I can drive back because I'm super tired. Like I told y'all, I went to work this morning. Had to get the bag, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't that move, I let the money move. That's a big fact. Georgia Power don't care nothing about your auntie's birthday. You know what I'm saying? The water bill folk don't care nothing about your auntie's birthday. You know what I'm saying? These car note folk, these mortgage folk, they don't care. Nobody being your auntie's birthday. You got to go make shit happen so you can take care of you and your. Believe it. You feel me? And when I say your auntie, I'm talking about my auntie, if you did what I'm saying. But I ain't going to talk y'all, y'all, man. We're going to go ahead and get on this road because honestly, gang, we're supposed to be on the road. Party start at 5. It take us like an hour and 45 minutes to get there. So, man, we going to be fashionably late. But when we get in there, Stuff, bro. You did, but uh, yeah, we're gonna let y'all in a minute, man. Y'all don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Make sure you ring the bell, make sure you get all become a part of the DQ family. Let's go. Gang, I had to show y'all this before we do it, man. I'm pack a little snack for the road, just some fruit, man. You know what I mean? Watching the diet, corner like cantaloupe. Y'all know me, I'm a big watermelon guy, so I'm gonna put a couple of slices of the melon in there. I ain't trying to jam pack it, man. Just a little something. I'm gonna take her cantaloupe down too, to be real. It tastes me one of them. I ate the chips too long. What's the minute at? I'm gonna take it down tomorrow. No cap. We are busting though. We are busting. All right, man. Let's be on the road. Thank you. 
Go ahead, Uncle. Uncle Man got a great day. Come on, come on. Uncle Man. Come on, 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 Uncle Time we gotta get to him in a hurry. And when I gotta get to him in a hurry, I'm gonna call her for sure. <laughs> Good time last night. But I had to come out here this morning and get that work in because we got another event that we got to attend. I might have get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? Just doing a little conditioning work, man. I'm gonna get ready to fight. Uh, what is it, Tank? Think I'm gonna beat him, man? I don't know about that, man. Yeah. We might out. give you a go. Man, I'll knock Tank ass out. <laughs> Tell him to sit it up. Anyway, we working. I'm almost done, though. Yo, Tell to check in with y'all, man. Good morning, guys. Let's get it. Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step.